No, I happened to be in Santa Fe uh, when Lawrence came because I had, uh, I lived in Colorado. So I'd been going to the University of California and was on my... Hmm? Could you start again, please? I said I'd been going to the University of California out in Berkeley. And my parents lived in Colorado. So I was on my way home for the summer vacation when I stopped off in Santa Fe to visit a friend who had taken a house there. And I just stayed on and, and worked with him as a secretary that summer. And that's how I happened to be in Santa Fe when Lawrence arrived that autumn. <clears throat> and it just happened that uh, he spent his first night in our house, first night in Santa Fe, because they had met him in what, the trade at Albuquerque and driven him up to Taos and stopped in Santa Fe and couldn't find a room because the hotel had burned, the new one wasn't opened. So the Lawrences stayed at our house. And what happened after that? Well, uh, I was printing my magazine, The Laughing Horse, then. And uh, I asked him if he'd write something for us. And so after they came to Taos, I sent him a, a new book, which I just got, which I thought might interest him. And uh, so in lieu of writing me an article, he reviewed this book for, for me, for the, our paper. <clears throat> So that was my first, first thing I printed of his. What were your impressions of him when you first met him? Do you remember at all? Well, yes, I do, because uh, when they arrived, I mean, we knew they were coming on their way, g coming to visit Mabel, but it was a great surprise when they actually arrived at our house. And I'd been to a movie with a friend and uh, returned home after the movie, what, 10 o'clock or something, and was simply amazed to find ensconced in this little three-room house that we lived in, uh, Lawrence and Frida. And they were going to spend the night. I, in fact, I, I had to get out of my bed, to, <laughs> my bedroom to give to them. <laughs> and I've never seen travelers who had so much luggage. The, the entire studio was simply full of packages and hampers and, you know, all different sized uh, things, and including a, a, the back end of a Sicilian cart, which they'd hauled all the way from Tarmina, all the way to India and then Australia and back to San Francisco, which is still there in that house. They finally gave it to Binner, and so it's, it's in his house now. But as I say, they were traveling with an incredible amount of, you know, they didn't have any trunks, they just had suitcases and bags and grips and, and packages and baskets, <laughs> things like that.